All right, guys. Now I'm going to remove the uh, the front coil. Okay, it's the same as the uh, the back coil. Okay, get your plug here. Just disconnect that. You got the two bolts, and you pull it out. All right. I'm going to put the camera down, and I'm going to remove the coil in front, the front coil. Long one's on the left, just like in the back. Okay, short one on the right. Just gonna pop this up. Connect the coil mount and wire, pull it up, and now this one's off. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, now I'm going to remove the front spark plug. Okay. There's the other plug, and I'll be right back with the new stuff. All right, guys, let me just give you, uh, before I put the plug in, I want to give you a look of uh, what it looks like so you know what you're supposed to see. Okay, and uh, all right, let me just uh, put the spark plug in now. All right, guys, let me button that up. Okay, I'm going to torque it down, and I'll be right back and we'll put the coil on. All right, guys, I got that all uh, torqued down. Now I'm going to put the coil back on. Don't forget to put a little uh, dielectric grease on the boot. Okay? Spark plug boot. All right. All right, we have a long one on the left. Short one on the right. I'll torque those up. Okay, I'll put the clip back on here, the uh, connector, the coil. Make sure you don't forget to do that, guys. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, now I'm going to uh, install the battery again. Okay, I'm just going to take it and slide it right back in. All right. I'm going to take the rubber strap, stretch it around, stretch it. This is the trickiest part. 
Oh, it's not too bad. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to put the wires back on my battery tender. Okay, I'm going to do the positive side first. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to button that up, and then we'll be right back, and then we're going to uh, uh, continue. All right, guys, now we're going to uh, install the bottom of the air box. And don't forget to take off the tape that you put on here. I know you guys did that. Now take the tape off. Exactly. Okay, you don't want anything falling in there. One more. You don't want to leave it on. And I want to show you one thing. When you put the air box on, see if you can see down in there, there's uh, one connector that just pops right in there. Okay, and then there's the other one, the hose with the clamp, okay? So you line that up, and uh, we're going to do that right now. I'll be right back. All right, guys, now I'm going to reinstall the bottom of the air box. All right. I'm going to line this up with what I showed you, okay? You line that up with that, the hole on top of the engine there and the hose. Go right on there. Just slip right in there. Slip that on. Here. You'll find if you go to this kind of clamp like I did, you'll be much happier if you, if you do a lot of this work. If you, don't, if you don't do a lot of this work, I guess it doesn't matter that much. But uh, this, this works for me. Alright, just tighten this baby up. Alright, we'll be right back and I'll put the velocity stacks on. All right, guys, now we're going to install the velocity stacks. I already did the, the shorter one over here, and I'm going to show you how to do the other one. I just want to show you, you know, don't forget to push the O-ring down. Okay, we're going to, I've installed that one already, so I'm going to put the hose back on over here. Okay, and now I'm going to install the, uh, the large one. But let me, let me show you how you line this up. Let's see if we can get this on the video here. Let's see. There's a, see that little notch that's right there? Okay, that little raised uh, notch there. Okay, that lines up with the notch... I'm going to have to light this up for you somehow, let's see. There's a notch on the base there, you see it? You can just see it. Okay, you line those up, and both of them have those notches, so that's how you know it's lined up uh, correctly, okay? You line it up with those notches. Okay, put that in there. All right, that's lined up. All right, let me, let me button that down. All right. I said, make sure you talk everything to the proper specs. In the service manual, okay. okay. I'm just gonna do it now for demonstration purposes, but don't forget to torque it down. All right. All right. Then you take this O-ring, slide down his little little raised things on the uh, velocity stack. You just pop it over that. Okay, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, be right back. All right, guys, I'm just going to, this is what the air cleaner uh, screws down onto. It holds it down. I had taken it out for video, so I could video. It's not necessary to take it out to do the, uh, the work, but if you take it out, just screw it back in. It comes right out. Okay, now we're going to get the uh, air cleaner. Air filter, whatever. Make sure it's in the, uh, the rubber gasket on the bottom. Okay, make sure it's, it's in there nice. Okay, we'll put the top on. This down. Wing that on here. Okay. Put that down nice and snug. Alright, just make sure it's nice and snug, guys. Alright. I'm gonna put the uh I'll be right back, I'm gonna put the airbox cover on. Alright guys, now we're gonna install the airbox cover. You go in nice and easy, don't force it. I like to hook the front one on first. Yeah. Alright, just go on easy, make sure it goes on easy. Come on the other side. Okay, we're going to 
plug in the sensor. Let me sh let me show you this again. Okay, once again, you just squeeze. I push down the the, uh, the sprinkling and then push it on. All right, make sure that's on. All right, good to go, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Now we're going to reinstall the uh, coolant overflow bottle. I want to show you this two, uh, I guess, tabs on the bottom there, and they go right into the the grommets there. You just uh, push them in. Okay, put the camera down. And I'm going to install this. Let's, uh, first, I'm going to move, move the cap. All right. Back on here. Come on. All right. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right. Now we're gonna put on the uh, airbox cover. Okay. There's two grommets that that goes into. Okay. Let's see if I can show you the grommets on the uh, thing. Those two right there. All right. Let me take it around. Put it on. Let's see. Make sure they're in there. In on that side. Okay, good. All right, one to ten. Come around over here. Quarter turn. That's locked in. That's it to the tank cover. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, now we're going to put back the main fuse that we took out in the beginning. Okay, I'm going to pop that back in. Just push it in. All right, good. Now we're going to install the, uh, the side cover. Okay, let me just show you how that goes. Okay, you got this, this piece here on the bottom. All right. It's going to go into this in the frame here, this one on the front. Right here in the frame, okay, in the front. All right, guys, I'm just going to button up the rest of this, and uh, that's how you do uh, the spark plugs on the V-Rod. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Take care.